Hey, so um, connecting to Bubble with a, a get single or something like a put, uh, not too much different than connecting with just any other API in the um, Bubble connector. There's nothing really uh, fancy with uh, Xano. Um, so, you know, I'm just using, I just have these auto generated CRUD API endpoints. I'm not doing anything special to these endpoints. Um, I changed this uh, edit one, the verb to a put, so we can take a look at that. But um, I'm just looking at this, you know, get merchant or this get single merchant right now. Um, so let's jump back to Bubble. Um, as you can see, I named it. Let's go look at the API call. Um, I just took the um, endpoint URL and I got that in Xano here uh, just by clicking this and simply pasting this in. Now you'll notice Bubble says use these brackets for parameters. So typical REST API use curly brackets. That's what Xano uses. So we just need to change that to um, these, I guess, flat brackets, if you will. Um, the URL parameters will come up. We can just put a value of one in there um, and then initialize the call. And um, as you can see, that's what happens in Bubble's workflow. You're able to um, insert dynamic values here so you can get your single uh, record. So pretty straightforward. Um, with the put, there's some different things to keep in mind. First, we need to use this put as an action um, instead of uh, data, because we're act we wanna be able to access it in Bubble's workflow, right? Um, same setup with this endpoint URL. So if we go back to my put, um, and remember, this is just the uh, post single, and I just simply uh, change this in the settings to the put verb. Um, but I grabbed the endpoint URL right here, pasted it back in. I changed the brackets because Bubble asked to use um, these kind of brackets for parameters. So I did that on the merchant ID, um, put the value in as one. And then for the body, um, I like to get the body, if you've seen the uh, regular post video, um, from Swagger. So if we open up Swagger, which is just auto-synced um, API documentation, we can get this example value schema. Just simply copy that, um, come back to Bubble, paste that in, um, and then Bubble also tells us to use these pointers for dynamic values. Um, so we can simply just put that in here uh, for the values. Um, from what I've read on Bubbles forums, if we check this, it kind of hard codes stuff in. Not 100% sure, it's not super clear to me, so I leave these unchecked. Um, and then we can get our key, uh, name, description, and put some values in, and then uh, initialize the call. And as you can see, it uh, initializes as so. So there you go, uh, you know, nothing too fancy, just, um, you know, keep, keep these things in mind, definitely reference uh, their documentation, and I uh, hope it's helpful.